Hi everybody, it's Misty. Oh, it seems like my thing was shaking. Okay, um, so last week, y'all watched as I dyed this seam binding. Look how bright it is, you guys. I love it. Then afterwards, I did this little piece of white lace. Just different color all the way down, like a rainbow. Okay, I have these trims, and I found all of this, okay? So I thought maybe we would make a tassel. All right, so the way I do my tassels is I just make, you know, however long I'm gonna do it. Um, if you do it, say 10 inches, it's going to be a little bit shorter than five. I would say let's do it. All right, this is only like 12 and a half if you don't stretch it. Um, let's see, how long is this? Oh, this is real long. I don't think that's the right color, though. That's kind of pastel. All right, we won't use that one. Um... Okay, so for sure, using this. Okay. Oh, you guys can barely see my mat here. I'm just trying to measure. So if you do it like 18, yeah, I think that's plenty. So we'll just cut them at 18. I like to cut just the string so that the, the fibers don't look funny. And this other piece is long enough too, but we could use that for some decorating in our journal. So, all right, so we'll do this. How about this one too? Okay, just kinda lay them on top of each other. All right, um, how about this hot pink? Okay. Just one of those. Let's see, I've got this really shiny, pretty blue. I think that would be great in here. I'm gonna angle both the ends, okay. Let's see. A lot of this stuff is pastel. All right, here's a piece of purple lace, but it sure is short. Hmm, okay, hang on. How about this pink trim? Whoa! Playing Kung Fu with my scissors. And I can always do some more seam binding. So let's add that one in too. So we have some green, some blue, we need some yellow. Oh, this is pretty. Yeah, I think we'll do that. Okay. This, we already have a dark blue. I don't want to go too dark on it. Um, that's just not enough yet. Need some purple. Let's get this purple in here. Okay, purple. We'll go ahead and do the yellow and red one too. That's fine. I can do more seam binding. Not a big deal. Okay. Let's see. I don't think we got any of this one. All right. And then I'm just looking over here at my stash. I always like to do some of this string 
which that part is, ugh, it's in a mess. All right. I'll do two of them. And I make these longer. Actually, I'm going to do one to tie off our tassel. If I can get this undone. Maybe it's just one piece. Ah, okay. So this, but I need it to be longer. So I'm going to go like that long. It's like twice as long, probably. Man, I wish this purple lace was longer, but you know what we can do? We could put it under the center, okay, and get it. I'm getting off the camera. Keep it down here toward the end. Angle cut it. Okay. Keep it down here. So when we pick it up in the center, we'll still have that. And then there'll be just a small one. Okay. So what I'm going to use is this binder clip. It's a small one. Okay. And I'm going to go right toward the center. Put it around. Clamp it. Pick it up. I mean, that's pretty cute. Right? That's a pretty cute little tassel. Okay. So we're going to take this one. Okay. Hang it down in there. And then we're going to wrap it around. Okay. Did it a little bit too far up top. Bring it down just a little. Like that. Pretty tight. Okay. And then we'll bring it to the back and tie it. All right. So we're going right over left. Okay. And then we'll go left over right makes a square knot and it won't come out or it shouldn't come out okay see what we got all right so these we can put little charms on or some beads you know however you want to do it like that so that will be for our stained glass journal and I'm not going to trim these yet until I tie on whatever I'm going to tie on. I may do some um, homemade paper beads, but I don't have any bright colors right here. I do have bright colors, I think. I've got a whole lot more uh, paper beads, so I may do some of those on here. You can do wood beads, glass beads, pretty beads, you know, just whatever. Or you can make a little knot and do a little charm in there. Um, yeah, whatever you want to do. But I think it's super cute. And it'll look really good for our stained glass journal. Okay? Alright, thanks everybody.